Return to Moon's House of Man. So four mm. and three. X plus four. X plus three. In fact, put the twelve in the corner. With your hands. I need to write it down. Right now. Oh, wait a minute. You can't just put four and three. Four and three. Four times three is the factor of the twelve. And certainly, if you type, multiply four times three, you're not going to get x squared, seven x, and twelve. Now, are we? Lazy boy. So, write it down. Also, we did this, and mine was a whole lot cooler because mine was all color coded and stuff, right? Right. But we saw that once we got to 40, we were happy, right? Right. And that's just a repeating pattern. And I had that in colors, and I had that in colors, and I had that in colors. But anyway, it's already erased. So, we're over here on the, on the board doing this. But, alright, so, grab your, dude, grab your fours or threes or something. I go with fours. Four, eight, twelve. Alrighty. Now, can you see? Yeah. That I've got <clears throat> my guy. He goes cruising along here, he walks across. The distance, this is an X square, but the distance from here to here is X. And one, two, three, four. The distance from here to there is X and one, two, three. Right? right. And the whole thing is X squared, seven, X and twelve. The factors are X plus four and X plus three. Remember? Yeah. All right. Fix that. What are we practicing today? Multiplication. Yes. All right. That's basically what we're practicing. Do you need an eraser? I can get you an eraser. Yeah. Get you a big eraser. You said looking around and not seeing the eraser. Uh, perhaps it's in the box. No. I'll find it in a minute. Don't make any mistakes. We'll be fine. All right, now you need brackets because now you just wrote x plus three and x. Okay, and then the brackets need to kind of sort of touch each other so that you know that it's multiplication. That's just simple mathematical syntax, right? I don't do it. That's dry. That one's that's that was that's an eraser pen right there. Here, we'll put this one. I don't do it like this because that's just forty-three. But as soon as I put them in parentheses and the parentheses are like that, now it's four times three, right? All right. Now. If I want four X plus threes, I could do that, All right? In fact, can you see some X plus threes here? I, yeah. see, I see some X plus threes there. You see there's an X, X plus three and there's another X plus three and there's another X plus three and there's another X plus three and it's four across and X plus three up. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. All right, there's the four. All right, there's the X plus three. All right, now I'm gonna just make it bigger and include everybody X plus four this way, and x plus three that one, and the whole thing certainly isn't 43, it's x squared plus seven x plus 12. This is the whole rectangle, those are the sides. Anything hard? No. All right, let's do another one. Let's get bigger and have more fun. <laughs> we're not crawling, we're swimming. Anyway, if he's going along this side, Right? Right. That's X and... Two. Two. And if he's crawling along this side... X plus five. He's swimming. Okay. X plus five. And see, now, if it was two X, it would be that, right? Right. That would be two X plus five. And if it was, if you're going to say something like three X, then you'd have three of them laying around here, right? Okay. Right. But if I'm just doing this, it's X and five and X and two. But I want you to understand that it's not just the edges. We're talking about the distance from here to here. Anywhere along there. Give me another one. Is X... What is that? X and two. Anywhere along there, it's X and two. It's X and two there. It's X and two there. It's X and two there. Right? Right. Anywhere along this way, it's X plus five. Five. It's X plus five there. It's X plus five there. It's X, obviously it's X five there, right? Right. Okay. Write them. So same thing, just X squared seven X and tw 10, but the factors changed, right? Mm-hmm. Because the amount in the corner changed. Why did I do that? I don't know. Now we could have fun with what would complete the square, but we're not there yet, so we'll do that another day. But we sure will do a, a what completes the square when we have 8x. So, now how about if I said x squared, 8x, and 15.
There you go. So uh, that was easy. Too easy, right? Too easy. Okay, so now here's what I want. Uh, so x squared 8x and 15, x plus 3x plus 5, super simple. How about if I just told you this? What if I said x squared 8x, make it into a square? Now what? Okay. So what will complete the square? 15. If you can count the 15 there, you will get $10 million. 14. If you can count the 14 there, I will give you $20 million. 16. 16. Put them in there. And for 16, you get nothing. Squat. Diddly. All right. There it is. You have completed the square. So, just for fun, right over here. Eight. Here, here's this one. Oh, wait. Right. Use this one. Purple crown. How about I use both? Yeah, there you go. The same thing. Uh, <laughs> how about x squared? So you're right, x squared. Yeah, see, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's completely. Anyway. <laughs> it was an idea, though. It could have <laughs> been cool. Been it could have been cool. All right. And then, yeah, I'd rather right, use... x squared. x squared. Plus... Yes. 8x. 8x. What did you have to do to complete the square? Four x's? Or, um... Yeah, put four on each side. Yeah. Four, which made you... Four need, fours. Four fours. Okay, so what completes the square? Plus how much? Uh, 16. There you go. Okay, I like it. Uh, what if I had 10x, right? x squared 10x, just for fun. What would complete the square? What do you think? Here, let's make this. Okay, fine, we got it. I was gonna... I was gonna give you these for just so you could be fast, but fine. You got you got the other ones. Fine, it's fine. Standing. What's gonna fit in the corner? And again, what did you do to make a square? You cut that baby in half, right? Yeah. Okay. Five. So, five fives. Five fives is. Five, 10, fifteen, twenty. Mm-hmm. One more. I need a five. Mm-hmm. Twenty-five. Okay. Plus twenty-five. There you go. All right. You see that all I do is take half of that, mm -hmm. square it, and that'll complete the square. Yeah. Every time. Every time. I don't know if it is every time. Let's find out. What if I had x square, and this time you don't get to use blocks. X square. Twelve x. What would complete the square? Six. Write it. Oh, very good. So you you already know. See, dividing by two. Didn't I tell you about that? Dividing by two is kind of an important thing to know how to do. That yeah. needs to be 12x. Love it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the pathetic x. That's a very sad little x. So here, I'm going to do that and make you do it again. Oh, please. Now you're out of control. There. There, okay, fine. Better. Now, what's going to complete square? Uh, six. Six squared. Good. You could put six squared there, but you, that's cheating. But you're right, it would be six squared. What's six squared? Cap your pen and grab me some sixes. Six. Yep. Twelve. Mm-hmm. Six. Twelve. Two and six? Hmm? Two plus six? Eight. Teen. Teen. Then that. Six needs what? Hmm? Six needs what? Six needs. How much to be ten? Four. Okay, but we have eighteen. So what is eighteen? What is eighteen? What does the eight need to be ten? Two. Boom. So what do we have left? There's my ten. So now I'm up to twenty and ten. Wait a minute. Right here. Just count that part. Don't do, don't get over there. Four. Twenty-four. I don't have a square yet. Keep going. Twenty-four. Yeah, see, I got ahead of myself. That's why I mean, it was 30, because 4 needs the 6. There you go. Getting close. Then what? 30, 30, 6. There you go. This Have you got a square? <laughs> if you put it in the right spot. Is that six. a square? Yeah. Okay. So, 6 square is the same thing as what? 36. There you go. Okay. Again. Oh, and what's 6 plus 6? 12. And what's half of 12? 
Six. See it all right there? Six squared, 36. All right, so you can see how much more we're doing here. Whoops, we, here, that's what we need. Get rid of you, throw you there. Oh look, I just made another add-in, five plus one, if you were a little little kid. And we grab another one over here, just cause it's fat. Oh, you know what? Heck, fat one, there you go, bam. Okay. Right? Right. Okay, and then I can see. Oh, I can stick all these guys together. That's the same thing as 12, right? Right. And I could even, I could even get even crazier. I could make this a four, so I have my 10, and two more for 12, right? Right. There's my combination for 10, two more, all right. Anyway, just having fun. Okay, your subconscious mind is picking all this up, trust me. Okay, so now, how about x squared? We did 8x and 16. How about x squared, 8x and 16? We did already did 15. How about x squared, 8x and 12? Okay. What do you think the factors are gonna be? Four, mm. four squared. Mm. Four That's two. a 12. Get out some x's and do it. Cap your pen. What do you think for factors for 12, though? Huh? What do you think for factors of 12? Six. Six and what? Six and two. There you go. Well, let's try that. Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Bam. Fast. Six and two. What's six and two add up to? Huh? What does six plus two add up to? Eight. Uh-huh. What's going to go in the corner? Two yep. sixes. There you go. Have you factored it? Well, yes, yes, you have. And the factors are? X plus two. Mm-hmm. X plus six. There you go. Give me an equal sign. What the heck? Where am I? How about a plus? That's X2. This is X plus two. Now it's X plus six. And that's X plus two times X plus six. And now I got an equal sign. This is the same as that. Right. I'll write it down. In fact, you need to write a couple of these things down. You only wrote three, three of them down, and we did a whole bunch more than that. All right, crudonhormoneshouseofmath.com for more. What, what are we doing again? Huh? What are we practicing, mostly? Multiplication. Multiplication is what we're practicing, mostly, yes. Of course, of course, as soon as I turn my camera off. All right, so, x squared plus 9x plus 20. Mm -hmm. Didn't need blocks. Just figured out it couldn't be 2 times 10, because that would have given me too many x's. But 4 plus, or 4 plus 5 makes nine and five times four makes 20. So that worked, didn't it? Yeah. You're starting to see how this works? Yeah. All right, what if I said x squared, nine x and 18? Just gonna change this one thing, gonna change this one thing, gonna change that one thing. Now what? What times what equals 18? There you go. Ah. Oh. Um, yeah, I want to say seven. Seven and seven, and it's never gonna get to eighteen. Yeah. Count by sevens. Nine. No, oh, nine's good. Nine times what is eighteen? Nine times two. Yeah, but what's nine times two? Oh well, put it there. Fine, do it. Now, what do I get? How many x would I have if I did nine times two? I'd have way too many X, wouldn't I? Yeah. How many X would I have just for fun? Just for fun? Yeah. You would have... Oh. You gotta have 11 X. Yeah, I don't have 11 X, I only have 9. Sometimes you don't work. Nine times two does not work. All right, what else? Hmm. How else can you count to eighteen? I'm trying to. I'm trying to go lower. Yeah. How else can I count to eighteen? See, and that's the thing. Your multiplication tables. You don't have them well enough. What? Where does eighteen fall on a multiplication table? Well, it definitely falls on nines. Where else? 
And twos, obviously. Yeah. What about threes? Threes, because three... Times what? Three times three equals nine. Three times three equals nine, I want 18 though. Three, six, nine, mm -hmm. 12, mm -hmm. 15, mm -hmm. 18. Yeah, how many? Three times six. Three times six, who? What's three, what's three plus six? Nine. Mm. See, I don't want to mess around with these guys. It takes the yeah. flip that guy over. They're X's. All right, there you go. It's X. And can you see? I can just grab these guys. One, three, oh, six. It's way faster also. To, instead of grabbing threes, grab sixes. Mine wants to work fast. There it is. Get that two and the nine out of there. Okay. We are graduating. Can you draw a picture of that real quick? Huh? Can you draw a picture of that real quick? Of this? Yeah. Of that. Draw a picture of it? Draw a picture of it. Don't get all complicated. I know you want to... Look, watch me. Watch me. Boom. There's... What's that? X. <laughs> what's that? X squared. X squared. What's that? That. I'm doing it. Fine. Yeah. Plus three. Mm-hmm. Six. I'm, I'm too lazy to do that. And 18. Right? Right. Right. I don't have to draw some like super duper thing where I make the X, uh, right? And, I do, and, just, and then I, and I'm not, no. Just lines, top boxes. Because you know what? When you get that SAT, what's it say? It says here's three white sheets of paper. Good luck. It doesn't say you can't draw boxes, lines, and dots. Yeah. Right? All right. Crewtownremoneshouseofmount.com for more.